clear your mind just for a moment and picture the world of a newborn infant. Now chances are that picture doesn't look very much like this. Premature infants are not only born early, but they're often brought into a world drastically different from what their bodies and brains are primed to expect. Now in recent decades, medical advances have contributed to a significant increase in the survival rates of infants born preterm. But as is often the case, this drop in mortality has been accompanied by an increase in other medical and psychological conditions. When compared to their full-term counterparts, infants born preterm are at seven times the risk of eventually receiving a psychiatric diagnosis. And one feature that we know is common to many of these mental disorders is impairment in social functioning, from difficulties with one-on-one -on -one communication to issues with peers or social withdrawal. Now, most of the research into preterm development assumes that the extra time preemies get out in the world doesn't really matter, doesn't make a difference. But as we can see, that time can be quite different from a time spent swimming peacefully in mom's womb. And much of the research that suggests that development is really about how long it's been since conception, rather than the time you've spent out in the world, was done in the 80s and 90s on studies of infant motor development, like crawling or walking. But social development might be one domain in which that experience in the world is especially important, because that extra time is spent not just sleeping and growing, but also interacting with other social beings. And uh, as you and I and my childhood bowl cut can all attest, things have changed since the 80s. Technology has made it easier than ever before to measure things that can't be seen with the naked eye. And brain imaging studies have shown us that prematurity is actually associated with widespread alterations to the brain, including differences in regions that we know are important for social behavior. So in my research, I aim to try and put these pieces together to link early differences in preterm brain development to differences in social behavior that together might help us predict some of the adverse outcomes seen in this population. As of now, one in every 10 infants in the United States is born prior to term. And more than ever, these kids are surviving. But we don't just want our children to survive. We want them to thrive. We know how important social development is for mental health. We know that early identification and intervention are the best ways to keep a child's development on track. And we now have the tools, and hopefully I've convinced you today, a compelling reason to study the development of the social brain in infants born preterm. It's up to us here now to use the tools that we have to try our very best to improve the lives of this future 10% of our population. Thank you.